it's not just youth though. We do have a certain percentage of older people who are committing suicide too. We do. We have a <clears throat> excuse me a certain percentage after our youth population. Probably our elderly population is another population that is very much at risk, and really they have some factors in common. Um, some of that loneliness, some of that feeling that that maybe a situation is helpless or hopeless, and oftentimes um, a chronic illness in both a young person or an older person is a risk factor itself for suicide. Yeah. I've had friends and relatives on both ends of the spectrum mm -hmm. uh, to commit suicide. And I've often wondered, was there anything that I could have done, uh, you know, in hindsight? Mm -hmm. What what can you do if you suspect that someone is going to commit suicide? If you think that someone is at risk of suicide or that maybe they're having thoughts of suicide, one of the things that you can do is to talk with that person and let them know that you've seen some of those warning signs and to talk with them and let them know that you're very concerned about them, that you care about them and that you want to try to help them. You know, if you uh, are a person who's contemplating suicide and you have uh, some warning signs that you're displaying, imagine if somebody didn't pick up on those warning signs. Imagine how isolating that could feel. Um, so to have a friend, to have a family member that could come to you and say that they were concerned, that they want to help you get help. Um, and you see, we didn't want to ask people if they were thinking about suicide. We thought it was a, a taboo question or if you asked about suicide that you would plant the seed and that you would act that the person would act on that question. And what we really know now um, through a lot of research is that asking someone very directly if they're having thoughts of suicide can be the first step in really helping that person to save his or her own life.